Tapas Fleming, TATLife.com. Today, I'd like to talk to you about little insignificant thoughts. We're taught for years that, oh, that's just a little thought. Just brush it aside. Carry on. I'm here to tell you, no, that's not how it is. When you have any thought that's tripping you up, you need to notice it and do TAT about just that thought. Because those little thoughts, those little insignificant thoughts, totally trip you up. It's like, it's like a fine cord made out of the strongest steel around both your ankles. You actually cannot move ahead because those thoughts hold you back. They block you. It might be a thought like... Mm, No one will listen to me. That thought can just be like a little bird chirping in your ear constantly that's stopping you from saying, well, I really need this in our relationship, or I really want you to blah, 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 know this about me, or could you please let, let's do this together. This is really important to me. Or, hey, I've got a new idea for something we're doing in our job here all together that I think is going to save us a lot of time and money and move our effort ahead. If you've got this little bird going, keep, keep, no one's going to listen to you. Keep, keep. What you have to say isn't important. Keep, keep, keep. It's just there because probably you grew up with one or both of your parents saying that to you or conveying that to you silently. You cannot move ahead. You cannot express yourself. You can't be the powerhouse creative person that you could. So whenever you're doing TAT about anything and you hear yourself say, oh, that's just a little insignificant thought, then go, ha ha, I know what to do with that. Grab it, put it in the TAT pot, and then you won't be tied up by that. You won't be blocked by that. You'll be free. You'll be more creative, energetic, expressive, and able to connect with people. So there you go. Thank you for listening and see you next time.